right, good morning. Uh, today I want to do some, start some, <laughs> some uh, pocket hugs, is what they're called. Anyways, I want to make them hearts. I want to do these two and these two, so I'll have little ones and uh, bigger ones. And I'm only going to fill them, not quite full. Okay. like that because I want to well, maybe a little bit more maybe like that because uh, I do want to top them with a like a black oh I didn't mean to drip that hmm okay I know I'm I'm blocking your view I'm sorry You got a little bit too much in you. Put some over here. Did I put too much in you? All right, let's do these itty bitty hearts over here, just with the just with the overflow, because I I really do think I put too much in two of these. And I made a mess there too. Man, what's with me? I'm starting out the day making messes. Wow. Okay. There we go. Do I have too much in that? I, you know what? I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Um, that's all my hearts. <laughs> Can't do any more hugs if I ain't got any more hearts. So I'm going to put a one hour timer. Ziggy, put a one hour timer. One hour, starting now. Ziggy is the name of my Alexa that's in my craft room here. I'm going to put these somewhere where I won't mess them up. So I'm going to pause you. Okay, what I'm going to be doing is putting some backgrounds and some letters and I'm going to do some black and some white. I still don't like that this white is so so runny. I don't I may buy more when uh when I go to a store next because I really don't like that that's so runny. <laughs> okay because I am going to especially with the black going to be mixing up some black. I uh, am going to put them in these little cups that I can just throw away. I would use caps, but they're too small. And I'm definitely not going to use my, my resin cups because the black is a pain to clean out. In just a minute, I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm going to let that set because that's going to settle down. Look at this. See how I've used, I used this for doing the black, and it was like, ugh. Anyways, I, I think I can get it clean. Let's see. Put a little. And you don't need a lot of color. I'm going to do two drops. If I was doing UV, I would definitely have backed off on how much black I put in there. Because you need the light to penetrate. And I can always add more if it's not black enough. I don't want to put too much air bubbles in that. Oh, I can put more in there. All right. Because I do want it. I do want it to be black. I don't want it to be translucent or gray or... <clears throat> and the way you test it is you... You take your stick up like this and it'll show you what it will be like in your mold. Unless I do a deep pour. If I do a deep pour, then you look down into the... But I'm not doing deep pours. And I think I need one more... One more thing. You know, I could use... I'm using an awful lot of paint. Eh, I'll just keep doing this. I was going to say I can use chalk. And I know that because chalk is dry, it will not affect the um the outcome at all of resin if you put 
put too much oh look at that that's much better if you put too much paint in uh in resin especially a liquid like this i think i might get my white chalk did i do white chalk i don't remember and uh do a combination because that's got a lot of water in it and that's what it is it's the water that's in the the uh acrylic paints that can make resin act a little goofy so i'm going to pause you and i'm going to go get my my white chalk if i have white chalk if not i may have to make some white chalk i almost convinced myself i didn't have white and i'd have to make it but I, it was right there i'm going to move these out of the way in case the powder flies i don't want to mess up my molds all right a little spoon here just give a nice spoonful okay get a clean stick and stir that in and I'm already can tell you that I'm going to need more <laughs> I really need a mortar and pestle to make this you see the little the grains in there that's because there that chalk was was not um, as fine as I would like it. Um, I uh, I mean it'll work, and if you get this white enough, you're not going to see see the uh, inclusions of the ah, chunk of powders. It is possible when I got to the whites, I was like, eh, let's just finish up. <laughs> okay, this is much whiter, and I'm going to add a little bit of the white paint. I don't have to add as much as I did with the black. Oh, look at that, it just runs. I really just like that. It does color it nice. But... No, I can't use that in my resin. Mm way too I'd love to <clears throat> find a local source of uh, titanium oxide and then I can make some white pigment paste um, I can buy it online I don't buy stuff online and uh, except for eBay and then I use gift cards I don't use my credit card on that okay that will work so, anyways, titanium oxide is what makes white really white. They actually use it in, in food products, um, like in wedding cakes and stuff like that, and um, paints, and it's a really cool stuff. It's just that most places don't carry it locally. All right, let's... I think I will... I did put some air bubbles in there. Not surprising. I'm going to do an R because my husband, well, I gave uh, my sister-in-law one of the R's I made. And my husband goes, oh, where's the R you made me? I'm going, hmm, well, if you'd wanted it, I figured you would have taken it. But he didn't, so. Do an S. What else is over here? Uh, I don't think I'm going to do any of those other letters. So, that there is good until I decide to take it somewhere. Now, we've got a lot of M's in the family, so let me do another M. I think I can do one more after this. Okay, what letter? Um, let's do an L. And we have a little bit more, but I can do something else with that. Okay, let's do the whites. Mix those back up. Come on, bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. Um... Anyway, 
boys. We had a graduation this this weekend. Um, Aubrey, which had, the fact that I'm doing an A brought her name to my mind. Um, she's actually graduating a year early. She's a smart, beautiful young lady. Um, and she wants to be a nurse, a pediatric nurse for um, oncology. Can you imagine how heartbreaking it would be? Children, cancer, sickness, I mean, whew. But she, uh, that's what she has her heart set on. It would break my heart. I'd be afraid that I would have to harden my heart to deal with all the pain and suffering in the parents. Because I know I would put myself in their position. So, I don't know whether or not I would, <clears throat> it would make me harden. Or if I would just, you know, would lose it, or I don't know. I guess I'm not as brave as she is, huh? Okay, I'm going to set these aside. And I've got a little bit here. I'm going to find a, a um, what's that thing called? Yeah, a, <laughs> a mold and scrape that out so we don't lose that. And this is just the first part, and I'm sure that I will bring you back to do more of it. Okay, I thought maybe you'd like to see me, see what I do with these molds. Uh, these here have just a little bit of uh, clear resin in them right here. And these two are full. Um, I'm not going to mess with those. But these that have got a partial, I think I can make something cool with uh, black and clear. Um, it'll be just the beginning of it. Come on. These uh, cups are, they don't clean out as easy as what, if I was using like a, um, uh, a butter wrapper or something like that where you can just squeegee it out. But, again, you know, I can throw it away and the mess goes in the trash and I ain't got to clean this. All right. All right, I think that's going to be an interesting look. The, uh, the black and the clear together like that. Okay, I'm going to set this down and let that puddle back. Because it will, as it sits, this all runs down into this thing. So you can get a little more of it out. Okay, so I've got some, i got a little bit of white. Do I want to do on that one or do I, got, do I have anything else sitting right here? I thought I had, yeah, I do. The itty bitties. All right. This is perfect for itty bitties. Um, put that right there. Okay. Just keep even. Whatever you put in that one, you put in the other one. I think I have some clear too that has puddled down and we'll we'll use this here and uh, do some stuff with that. Alright. Now I gotta get it around the the ear um wire hole there. Well 
it's not a hole it's going to make a hole uh, make sure i don't have any warm air bubble there there ain't much there to yeah all right Rough. Isn't it amazing you think it, it's just trash and you, you scrape and scrape and you get enough for a pair of earrings. I mean, there really was almost nothing in here. Can you like a little? All right. That's good for that one. Oh, yeah, I got. I got quite a bit in here. Um, let me get a clean, clean, clean. Do I want to? Yeah. We're just going to use steak. All right. What do we want to do? Let's do these drops here. And we'll put some inclusions in them. Because that's fun. Right. I'm making a mess, mind you. Yeah. They're so small, it's hard to get that drip to go right where you want it. Come on. And because they're, it's a narrow little thing, you, <clears throat> the chance of getting an air bubble in there is so much greater than if it was something that was wide open. All right, come on. Toothpick. Down in there. There is definitely an air bubble right there. And there's not even resin to the back of that one. All right. All right. And you guys need more because you do not have enough in you. Pull you back. Pull you back. Come on. Go around the peg. All right, we gotta decide what we want to put in here for inclusions. Um, it's gotta be small. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Well, let me go. Let me go get the box. Okay, these are some of the inclusions. Those we used yesterday. Um, we can't use anything like this because all you'll see is the silver back and some color. The rhinestone itself disappears. We could use that kind of stuff and the female clay things. Those um, are too large that I was just looking at. Do gold glitter or gold beads. And I have a bunch of the different beads if we wanted to do beads. Uh, da -da -da -da. And that's all that's in this box. Oh, I got some black. I don't, I, I'm not feeling this, so let's put those away. Um, got sequins. That might be interesting, except for these are awfully small. I wonder how many sequins I could pack into those there. I think I'm going to try it. <laughs> it sounds uh, ridiculous. So... Let's try it. <laughs> All right. You just use your toothpick. Kind of squish them down in there. Have you in those? We're going to do something else in that one. Don't know what we're going to do yet. It's not going to be you. Come on. Get me over into this one. Hey, somebody in the neighborhood's getting a tree taken down. I can hear it. All right. It's not too far away. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to definitely need more resin in it. I can put some 
more of these in it. Mm -hmm. You need to get it down below the rim. Okay, let's see if I can. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of resin here. Put it on top. Turn it up a little. This one, too. All right. Huh? Let me see if I can put some more in there because you get a hole right there. Oops. Normally, I would just move the stuff instead of putting more in, except with UV, yeah, with UV resin, with uh, two-part resin that we're using, the epoxy, um, as it cures, stuff moves around. So if stuff's going to move around, it's better to have, if you want a good coverage, to make sure that you got plenty of stuff in there. You don't want to scrimp on how much junk you put in it much of the inclusions all right I think that's gonna be good this we're leaving although we could put some uh, some glitter in there it might sink but I don't know that it will so we're gonna leave that all right now we just got to do these here and the littlest thing that I have I think are these stars little pink stars I think those could those could be cute. Let's do the stars down here. And I might get some some glitter or something to go on the top part of it. You know what? I got some pink glitter. Soft pink. That might be really pretty on the top part. All right, pokey, 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 pokey. Put those stars down in there. If I put any more stars, you're not going to be able to tell they're stars. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me get the glitter behind me. And take my little spoon, take a little bit and just sprinkle a little here, sprinkle. All right, now let's see if I can work that in. Normally you put the glitter in the resin, not the resin on the glitter. But hey, that's what happens when you're inventing on the fly. Sometimes you uh, got stuff that wanted to fall over. I moved my mat. I do have a silicone mat underneath this project because silicone sticks to this table really well, and I've already got plenty of resin spots on it. I think this one needs more stars down there. Okay, I need to clean the glitter off my toothpick. <laughs> All right, wrong cap. Cap the glitter because we definitely don't want any more glitter. All right, put some more right in there. Pokey them down, pokey, pokey, pokey down. Okay, make sure these are all pokey down. Put some more stars here. I know. Put too much in, you won't be able to tell what they are. And then I just keep putting more and more in. 
I have that that talent of just keep adding stuff even when you go oh that's plenty yeah so then you add some more all right now let's see what I have for oh, this has got a little bit left in it let's put a dollop there I have all three stuff in this by the time I finish I don't know dollop there I didn't have as big of a dollop. Bring that all the way to the end there. Okay. I guess I don't have any paper towels ready. But it's that easy to get a nice little square. I love the, these cheap paper towels that you can do a quarter of a tape paper towel because, you know, I really don't, don't enjoy wasting. And that is not around that peg. That one's not around that peg either. Let me get my fingers out of your way so you can see what I'm doing. There's a peg right here where the earring wire goes, and there was no resin. It was dry on the other side of that. All right, that one does not, this one's full. That one's not full. All right, Let's see if I can get another little dot. Maybe a little bigger dot than that. All right. Okay, what are we gonna put in that? Hmm? Do you wanna stay with the the pink thing. I'm gonna drop some moons in there, or I mean, moons aren't something I'm gonna use a lot of. Let's see. Could put put two moons, a moon in each one, and then put stars in the bottom. What do you think? Moon. And then just a couple of stars. I guess one's a waxing moon, one's a waning moon. Is there... Oh, that one's flipping over now. All right. All right, let's... Got some stars here. Let's... Are there and I can put a color on the back of this so that it shows up better oh where's my stars look at some hollow stars should I use the hollow stars hello look at this one I can't pick it up remember I I don't know maybe you weren't here yesterday but when I was doing my video I said that you have to tear them apart because when they come, sometimes they're all connected and these are just like stacks and you just have to break them all apart. And because they're so tiny, they're a pain to break apart, by the way. But, uh, all right. Now, some of these are hollow stars. Some of them are regular stars. So I have a combination of the two. I'm off my finger. All right, uh, I want some hollow one. There's a hollow one. Sorry, I don't want you sideways. I want you to be able to see from the front here. 
Alright, I do need to put you down in though. You guys can't float on the back here. Hmm. So I put a black back on that after it's done. Those will show up really well because they're pink. So I might leave those alone and we'll just experiment with those. Okay, so what else do I have? Do I have any? Oh, yeah, I got more white here. I'm going to put that in. Hmm. Da -da 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 -da. I used up everything I was going to use. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. Hang on. Well, I'll be back. Okay, this is a new mold. I haven't used it yet. And I'm going to make a garbage kitty. And since it's only one, I don't have to worry about, you know, matchy matching the where I put the color. But I think that uh, maybe a calico cat. <laughs> nice white right in the front part. And I'll probably have to finish this off with UV resin. Okay, that's it. Oh yeah, I got more black. Black up here in the ear. Some color down here. My tea, and I haven't drank one bit of it, and I'm getting dehydrated. You can tell because my skin gets really yucky looking. It's all crepey. More crepey than normal. <laughs> oh. Some more black up here. Down here. Now that the hearts there that we made, um, we're gonna put some UV, some um, not UV some alcohol ink in it or some I'm gonna do something with it yeah I might have needed some resin to put in it hmm I don't know all right I don't think I can get any more of that let me there's a little drop right there. Put him right there. If I can get this to go around that peg. If it's wet, it will flow into it. If it's deep enough. Alrighty. Is there any more? Did any more settle? A little bit more settle. Put that there. I can feel this starting to thicken up. So that's good. Um. All right, 
I don't think I got any more here. I mean, we're literally scraping the bottom of the barrel. So, that is it for right now. Picky on my hands. Let me go clean up. All right, now we're going into unexplored territory. Um, going to, oops, let's shake these. These are those cheap um, inks that I got from Dollar Tree. Some yellow. Shadow yellow. Shadow yellow. Okay. Um, what's this color? This is red. It's not moving at all, which is kind of different. This is some purple. Ah, see, the purple kind of moves because it's got the alcohol in it. This stuff doesn't move very much. It's really strange. All right, let me, um, it goes good with that yellow and that blue. Let's do some green. Where's my green? Green ink. I don't have any sinker, which I wish I did. Okay. So what I'm going to do I'm gonna be green. It's not easy being green. Alright, I am going to take I have some um cheap um two-part resin that's like gross and anyways i'm going to use that and mix up some white chalk with it some of this here and i'm going to just put it in with this um and we'll see what it does it might do not do anything it might do something cool i don't know and then i'm going to swirl it so i'll be right back okay this is that epoxy resin i it was the very first that I got, and yeah, it wasn't. It was kind of gross. Uh, I, I don't need very much. I'm going to mix that with the white chalk. Maybe I'll, no, I'll, I'm going to, I was going to say maybe I'll use that paint, but no. Let's use white chalk. Okay. 
And like I said, don't know what I'm doing here. Just doing. And I'm thinking the chalk will make it sink. Trying to grind up some of those <laughs> big chunks in there. Um, okay, now I'm going to mix this with some alcohol. Because this is usually very liquidy. Okay. Is it going to mix? Hmm. Not sure if it's going to mix or not. I'm going to put more chalk in it. I want it thicker. It's a good healthy spoonful. Like I said, don't know what we're doing here. And I do need a mortar and pestle. <laughs> No doubt on that one. Let's put a drop there. Put a drop on that. Drop on this one. Let's drop here. Drop here. Okay. Oops, I got the chunks. Got some red in this, so I'm just gonna start in. All right, put that there. Now we're going to take a, what do I got? Hmm, I guess I'm gonna use a toothpick. Nope. Try to blunt the end of the toothpick. Don't wanna scratch my mold. All right, and we're going to swirl it. Okay. And start in the red and come around and do a swirl. Go here, go here, and start in the blue, go around the edge, around here. And again, okay, now green did weird things, huh? All right, we are just going to let them sit and see what they do up some of this overspill. Hmm, it will be interesting. They may be pretty, they may be ugly. If they're ugly, we will just cover them with a color or something. I don't know. Because I'm not using wasting all that resin. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
All right. All right, I'm just going to let all these cure. I'm going to clean up and I'll bring you back to reveal. Okay, hello, my friends. Um, I went out to the shed to, looking for um, some, not jump rings, but rings that I could use to to make uh, earrings with and uh, found a lot of cool things. I did bring in some rings, but they were very tarnished and so I've spray painted them with a gold paint and uh, they're curing. So meanwhile, I said, let me do this one. This one's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. And I think it'll look really good, stained glass. I think it may have had um, cabochons on it, don't know. But I am going to use some alcohol ink. And we are going to uh, color it in. Um, let me start with this purple. <laughs> I have... All the other ones I have bottled. For some reason, I have not bottled this one. I think I, I used this in a demonstration to show you how to make it. And I've just left it for some reason. I don't know. But, uh... And it dries out, and I just put some alcohol in it, and it reconstitutes it. So... Eh. Get in there. Stir it a little bit. Da, 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 da. All right, that looks like it's pretty purple. Pretty purplish. All right, I can't reach down in there. All right, let's see. I need to, that's enough. Oh, I think that's enough purple. Look at that. We don't want terrible, we don't want a lot of color in it. We want just, um, just a little bit so that it gives a more stained glass look. I'm gonna add. I think it needs a little bit more, depending on which of these I put it in. Okay, get some there, and let's go with that one there. And I did burnish this down. It's got tape underneath it, um, packing tape. Just cheap old packing tape from Walmart. Cheap as they had. And I put this on it and then I just pressed as hard as I could. And then I rubbed from the back side too. Alright. Let's clean that off. Now let's get a different color. What color do we want? Um, we want a blue. We'll take a blue. And I think I'm going to use, I'm going to get a paper towel and then, and then just keep kind of cleaning the toothpick off. Ooh, I got way too much blue on that. Set it over here. Oops, definitely don't want to spill that. Alright, let's go. Right here. Oh, that's going to be a pretty color, isn't it? Let's fill it up. Like that. Okay. I need something to put this in when it's when I'm done with it. So hold on a second. I know I told you guys a hundred times, always have something right here so you can clean off your your uh, your palette and your brush so you don't waste any any of that resin. Okay, let me do the purple too. And move that toothpick. And there we go. Let me scrape that off on the sides. All right, so what color should we do next? Um, how about some yellow? Yellow, yellow. Okay, now yellow, I don't think, I think I want to get a clean toothpick. 
because you don't want to um, make green yet. I mean, I'm, I'm good with making green. All right. Set that right there. And are we in the frame up there? Are we? I can't see. Um, let's put the yellow right here. That is a pretty color, and I, if you touch the tape, expect it to come away with you. I did fold a little piece of it back on itself right here, so. All right. So I had a place to put my finger, but did, did I put my finger there? No, of course not. That would have been the right thing to do. Right. Well, that's a pretty color and I could put you know like a little yellow here and a little yellow there but what I think I'm going to be doing is I think I'm going to just take some red and do red next and maybe make some orange while we're at it the red right here And I do have a new bottle of this that my sweetie got me. All right, just a little touch. And okay, um, you know what? I will clean that off. Now I can stir it. Couldn't stir it the way it was because it was just, it would have really had made orange too soon. So let's put that red right there. Get some more. I made way too much of this. So making orange is probably the best thing I could do with that, right? That yellow. Mm, it is not. I don't think that's um, orange enough. I think it's still too red. So. Oh, I really saturated that toothpick, didn't I? Mm. Ooh, that cleaned off pretty good. All right. Let's try some orange. I might give it some more yellow. Let's try some of this yucky, yucky yellow from the Dollar Tree. Just put a little dot of it right there. Am I in? I can't see. Um, okay, you can see. Just wanted to make sure that it was in your field of vision. Some yellow. Let's take some red. Do we want a more yellow orange? Or is that a good yeah, that's a good orange. It's a good orange. Especially since it's right next to the yellow. We don't want it too yellow next to the yellow. Right? Say sure. Sure. Okay. Now I got two more colors I can do. I have to decide. Let's let's get rid of this. Let's put a pile of orange right about there and more of it right there some red we'll do the red up here red up here And let's see. 
little bit there and a little bit scraped off of on that. Okay, let's get rid of this. Because I'll just be contaminating everything with everything else, so we don't want that. All right, what other colors do I have? Green? Hmm. I think I'm going to do a green and an aqua. How's that? Take that, that blue and add some yellow to it. Or take green and add some uh, blue to it. Stick with that one. Okay, let's... Where's my green? Green. Green ink. Okay. And... Stick with that. <gasps> no! Paper towel. Paper towel. Emergency! Emergency! going to, where that green is, just fold it over. Yeah. Okay, and I got green here. And I got green there. Let me throw that away. Alright. Well, that was, um, yeah. Now, I wish I could remember, does blue take over green or does green take over blue? I can never remember. But one of them takes over the other one. Ooh, I got too much in that one. Alright, it's nice and domed. Alright, let's do... Where's my blue? I can do this blue, which is also one of those cheap um, Dollar Tree. The one I made, to me, is a better blue than, is a better ink than the one I bought. All right. Hmm. That's awfully close to that color there. So, that tells me that I think the blue overtakes the green. So I didn't use much of that. And, too bad I got rid of all that green, right? Let's see if there's enough on the steak here to change the color of it. Nope. A little change, but not much. Um, let's add a little bit of yellow. Yeah, a little bit of yellow will do it. We'll give it a just enough to make it a green. Okay. All right. That's not a blue. And it's not that green, right? It's not that green and it's not that blue. Awesome. I just went wiki wiki on me. I don't know if your eyes ever do that. They just kind of like go. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right. Ooh, that is so pretty. I love that. As long as I don't mess it up, it's gorgeous. And what do I mean by as long as I don't mess it up? Um, there's so much I could do to mess that up. I could move it, bump it, drop something on it. I've done it all. All right, let's put these in here. Get rid of all this. It's good resin here. Don't want to waste any of it. Make something pretty with it. Okay. 
Scrape the edge, scrape the edge, scrape the edge. And ta-da, we are done. And I'll come back when it's when it's cured. And we can go, yay! And I'll show you a close-up. Uh, let me see if I can give you a close-up now. Come on. Can you see it? I don't know how the lighting is on that. I don't want to pick it up because, like I said, I can ruin it really easy. Let's see. Do I have a white to put under it? I can put white under it. White will make it look prettier. Ta-da! Can you see? Oh, what? Too far out. There we go. All right, I am going to put that on something and move it over to a safe location. And uh, one of the things I pulled out were these here. They have D's on them. Um, you can see the metal, it's got a little bit of um, bubbling underneath it, which means the the coating, between the coating and the metal, don't I look great? Between the coating and the metal, there's some, um, like, oxidation or, I don't know, it's bubbling. Anyways, and this one here is missing one, two, three, four, five, I think six rhinestones. Oh, there's the other one. Six rhinestones. And this one's coming out, so that one needs to be taken out and replaced. And the Ds need to be taken off from it. And if we do that, we can replace the D with something a little more, well, first of all, one that isn't got an issue. And like I said, this one's got an issue. It's got some, if you look at it real close, you can see where underneath, especially, I don't know, can you see it right there? Where we go? Can you see right there on the D? There's a little bubbling going on. And there's a little bit of over here too. Um, but we'll put something else on it. Anyways, that's what I'm looking forward to doing next. All right. Okay. I'm bringing this back over here because you know what? This is UV resin. This is not the two-part resin, which I was using earlier today. So in my head, I was thinking you just set it somewhere and it will cure. Well, no. <laughs> You need the light, and the light will cure it, so. Okay, just wanted to bring you back to say, duh. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'll cure that. And the reason I remembered that is because I saw this. I'm going, oh, i got to cure that before, you know, it gets messed up. Because um, <clears throat> I'm learning that if I just leave them like that, I'll stick something in them and mess them all up. So, that was a... Yeah, brain going, ah. So, anyways, me bad. Okay, I have this bracelet here, but do you see how faded this is? This is kind of needing some upgrade too, but this material here, you can see it's really worn. It probably had a, like a coating on the outside of it that's been wore off with wear. Okay, over here, you can see it's a little blacker. And what I used is some fabric markers. I don't have black, but red, yellow, and blue, or brown and blue, will make a black. And so, you just cover. And since this is a material, it's a cording, it will soak into it. Right now it's it's got a little bit of a brown sheen because I'm using the brown. Um, let me get a paper towel here. Fold it in half. Half, half. Because I want to do these strings here too. Yeah, you can really see the brown on the strings. They've lost a lot of their coating. Oh, it lost its bead, too. Hmm. I wonder if I got a bead I can replace it with. I will have to check on that. Okay. And we just keep coloring it. Color, color, color. Flip this over and color the inside, too. Um, I am going to have to open it up and get the strings that are 
in there too. Okay, let's close you down like that. Oops, don't get it on that. We don't want the metal. Do not want the metal gotten. And since this is a fabric marker, I don't have to put any sealer or anything on this. Like if I was to do it with a paint, I would have to go in and and put some kind of a sealant over it. Um, which is not a really good thing to do when you've got <clears throat> strings. All right, let me open that up. Oh, those aren't as badly. I guess they are. I was going to say those aren't as badly discolored, but they are. All right. Let's color that one, too. All right. Let's put this one back. And I'm not as... I'm not as brown as I figured I would be. See the blue going on? Uh, if you look at like blacks, there is a red black and a blue black. Um, very few things are black black. Uh, if you black blacks tend to disappear because there's absolutely no color being reflected back um, so that's why when you go to wear black on black sometimes it's very hard to to match it because uh, there are like I said there's a blue black and there's a black black and a red black and yeah, they look different. Okay, let me put the cap on this so I can use my fingers to do this. All right, day. Look at it, yuck. Alcohol will take it off. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping anyways. But it's no longer that white, black, or white cast to that. Okay, just let that soak in. And again, with the paper towels. And our good friend, alcohol. Alcohol loves ink. If you accidentally write on a, a whiteboard with permanent marker, alcohol will take it off. If you have a um, any really shiny surface um, and you write on it with a permanent marker, alcohol will clean it off. When I uh, sometimes when I do gift bags. Or I get a gift bag and somebody's taken a marker and wrote a person's name on it. I will take alcohol and just erase it. And then I have a perfectly good gift bag. And yes, I save my gift bags from year to year. Because, I mean, if they're destroyed, you throw them away. But if they're still looking really nice, use them again. I mean, don't just throw them away. We're in, we live in a throwaway society. All right, I didn't get it all, but I did get a lot of it. And that's, a lot of that has to do with I had just washed my hands because I had alcohol, I had alcohol ink on them. And uh, then I, uh, from there, I did the marker thing. And these are, they are designed to be more permanent than like permanent ink. So, yeah. So there's that. Okay, let me clean this off. Not sure why I didn't do that before. And what else have we got going on here? Anything? Not really. Okay. I'm going to let this dry. But you see how much blacker that looks? It does look a lot blacker. Um, 
I'm thinking about painting because this this is definitely worn. Whoever had this loved it and they wore it a lot. Um, but maybe take some alcohol ink and some resin and fill in these this part here with red right here to give it a little more bling. And then maybe, hmm, I don't know. don't want to overdo it if I do a um, with the alcohol ink just do a very light red um, so it's not opaque but translucent then I might do this whole heart here and that way these parts will be covered with red but they will shine through because the resin won't be as deep there I think that's maybe what I'll do. And then I wish I knew what I wanted to do with these two pieces here. These. I feel like I should do something. And maybe these two here too. We'll see what it looks like when I finish. But first I want that. The, the paint to dry on it. And. Uh. Yeah, let me go check my rings. I um, spray painted those gold rings that I said I had gotten. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. Um, and uh, I'm letting them hang outside to dry. All right, let me clean this out. It's one. This one here that's all painted up. Uh, I used this on the last project. All right. Was it on this one? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't remember now. It's okay. See how I gotta take, I gotta let that dry and I gotta take the tape to it. Really clean it. So, I'm going to clean up this, and I will see you guys later. Well, folks, got some sad news. I took the tape off the back of this. Look what happened. It came apart. I'm not sure if my UV light was not working right, or the alcohol just... That was too concentrated with the alcohol ink in there. But it was beautiful and now it is not. And I am not happy about that. So I'm going to redo it because I thought it was beautiful the way it was. And uh, this resin really stuck to the tape, obviously, because... And it's not fully cured. You can see that it's... See how it stretches? So I'm thinking that that was the fault of the combination of the uh, the alcohol ink um, was too concentrated. There was too much alcohol in it or something. Ew, that one's still wet. Hmm. So I'm going to save it though because... I put it in my junk jewelry, my junk earrings here, trash earrings, and make them pretty. Let's get rid of that. And I'm going to pick all this out, and I'm going to, first I'll put a clear coat down with the UV resin, and then I will mix up some two-part resin and just redo it. One thing I, I was looking at it and I'm going, oh, I bet you that's the back. I think it was prettier. And that right there is probably the front. So I'm not sure which I'm going to use for the front, which for the back. But it won't matter because it's stained glass. Look. Not real stained glass. Just stained glass look. All right. So that was the sad news. 
Now let's look at some of the things that we did. Okay, that came out okay. Let me move this so you can put it down in the field of vision. Those came out really nice. Um, I might just leave them like that because I don't have too much that's quiet and plain. Most of my jewelry is in your face. Um, yeah, so, oops, this right here, that little schmutz I gotta trim off on it. Oh, it came off on my nail. Just use my nail. All right, usually they will. Oh, no, not 100% though. Uh, where's, where's the funky little tool? All right, I don't see it right here. But I just need to either sand it or do something right there. And these are these aren't allowed in your face. They're they're small enough, so. And I'm thinking maybe oh look at all the air bubbles in that. Oh, that's so terrible. Anyways, I'm thinking about backing that with maybe a black. Okay, I think it needs something behind it. Let me see. There's my black. See, it brings brings that moon and stars out with a dark background. Now I could do a different color other than black, but it definitely needs something behind it. And I really dislike all those those air bubbles in there. But that was the end of the the UV thing and it has a lot of air bubbles in it. This is the the uh, the cat thing that I did. It was the uh, scraps. Oh, I like it. That's cute. It does have a little air bubble right there. Hmm. Don't like that. But I actually like that side better. Whoops. So there's that. Let's see what else we got. Um, this one I'm going to do more to. Uh, save the little little pieces here. Throw them in my. Uh, my scrap thing here. Oh, there's, oh, there it is. Couldn't find it. It was, I tried to drop it into the thing. And I guess static electricity is a thing today. Because these are just kind of clinging to me. All right. Yeah, I'm going to put something on top of these here. So these are not finished. I'm not going to unmold those yet. Okay, these here were scrappier rings. Let's see what we got for. What did our trash yield us? Oh, I got a little bit here that needs to be taken off. All right. All right. That's, I think it needs a color on the back. I don't think, oh, I don't know. Let's, hmm. I'll think about it. <laughs> All right, here's some more schmooch here. It needs to be removed. A little bit right there. And usually you can just burnish it with your fingernail and it comes right off. So what do you think? You think this sneer needs a, a coating? Maybe a color of some kind? Let's see what color we would use. Get our handy dandy little. Um, no. Let's check the black. Okay. Um, because there's so much black in it, I think that's, that's a no. No. Another black. Um, I don't think the blue is going to, the blue blue will go either. Well, not as bad as the black. You can still see some of the blue there. Green. Green's not horrible. Purple? No. I'm going to have to get, weed this out so I don't have quite so many of the same color. Uh, that's a different green. It makes the, the, um, foil inclusion stand out. And that's a big no. Let's go with a lighter color. Uh, I think a lighter color will work. No. We already tried blue. We already tried green. That's a blue blue. No. No. Guacamole. Holy guacamole. You know, that's not horrible, but no. Okay. So I think a light color. Maybe a, 
there's white. I think maybe a white or a pearl or something like that. Okay, so I gotta clean that one up, put it in the stack. Uh, let's move this stuff out of the way. Over here on this, I have a plate. So we'll put everything over here on the plate. Uh, I just need to put earring wires on these here, back these. Uh, I think I'm going to leave these as they are, just put the wires on them. And I just really want to draw a face on that cat. Have you ever just had the urge to, like, oh, we could put a face on it. Okay, um, I did remove the D's and uh, replace the rhinestones. Okay, so the rhinestones are all there. Now I could put something about this size in here. Turn it over so that, um, just... I'm not going to put these on there. I'm just going to show you. See? The hook right on there. And it'd be like that. I think maybe the black. Do this shape in solid black. I think that would be pretty. So that's what I'm thinking about doing with those. Uh, let's see. What else have I got over here? Whoops. Got some letters here that I just need to embellish, but these are all cured up, so they're not being pulled out until we embellish them. And last thing we're doing is this here. This was an experiment that we did, and we put the, the two-part resin in, and then we put some alcohol ink in, and we mixed up some, some white chalk with some, um, with one part some old nasty uh part a resin just to see what it would do and I, I like this one the least so let's pull that one first all right um now what i was trying to do is make my own sinkers because i do not have any titanium dioxide which is what they use to make the sinkers so i just used white chalk and it actually did kind of work. Um, you, that's not a very deep pour, so it's hard to see that. And it's pretty ugly. But I wonder what it would look like if I put like, um, well, definitely not a black back. <laughs> How about a white back on it? Well, that's better than the black. I don't know. It's, uh, let's see. All right, well, let's just go ahead and do the, this one next. Again, it's a shallow pour, but you can see that some of it came down with the white and some of it stayed up on the top. So it is dimensional. Again, not pretty. Um, not loving it. Uh, let's see. Light colored background. Not horrible. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm, I'll back it. And uh, I think maybe with a pearl. Because I don't think a black will look. No. Put a pearl on it. It'll be fine. Okay, let's try the little one here. That one actually came out better. It's got more of the dimension in it. Let's look at the red. Now, the colors are better on this one. I do have a little bit of schmutz there. Let me get that off in there. Um, put a white background on it. I, I, I think that one there is the best so far. So, and let's see what we got here. All right. Ooh, now this one. Look at this. See, you do have dimension there. And, yeah, I kind of like that. What? Let's see what it looked like with the back on it. What do you think? Hmm? Can you see the, the different dimensions and stuff? 
I think if I was to get like a mortar and pestle and really make that um, white chalk very fine and then mix it with some um, one of the two part resin stuff, I could use it in this way because there's different, see how there, there is some dimension there. Okay. All right, let's, one last one. And this one, I like the best. I thought I was going to because it, I actually just swirled it. <laughs> um, yeah, I like that one. What does it look like with black? No, definitely not a black one. Yep, definitely put a pearl or something light behind it. Okay. So I got two that I really like and two that are yeah, okay and then two that are yeah. <laughs> you like my adjectives? Yeah. <sighs> That's that good education I got. So all right, that's what I've got. I just got to back those um, and do some decorating on this. This will be a different video, I think, because that could be a video all on its own because it takes a long time to to decorate things like that because it's, you know, you're doing little bitty works at a time. You're, um, and I need to get the tape out, don't I? These are messy. Um, anyways, the, you need to like put flowers and glitter and, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of involved. So yeah, that'll be its own video. And, uh, yeah, I'll let you see, hopefully I'll be able to put this together and post it and you'll be going, Ooh, wow. Let's not do that again. <laughs> anyways, uh. I do like this this cat one. I I, th I think it's really cute. Uh, and uh, I wonder if I can just put some something inclusions in here, and then dome it to make the cat face. You know, I I, I don't know that I really want to just just try it with marker stuff. I think it'd be a fun project. I mean, what's to lose? Hmm? I could just mess it up. That's all. So, anyways, this is Bethany with New Life Jewelry Creations. Uh, thanks for stopping in and watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button. Um, and uh, thank you for, you know, giving me a reason to do this because it's fun. <laughs> and I hope you guys try some of this stuff out. I mean, you probably won't do every crazy thing I do, but, you know, it'll make your mind go and you'll be going, oh, I can do this and this and this. And uh, if you do something, you know, drop me a, a little line saying, oh, I did this. Or go to my Facebook page at New Life Jewelry Creations at on Facebook and post a picture of what you did. I would love to see some of your stuff. Anyways, this is Bethany. See you again.